We did a lot, y'all. I should have known better. Can the red dot journey. Like I don't want it again. On the these are cute. You can't leave a note. We did. Ain't you no did something. That bad kitchen tastes like, like that. Don't happen too often. It's the way you put it down. I have to do it, y'all. I have to do it. I think this is the one I've got. This is right. I found this one for the zero. Don't sleep on good ways. Hey, my beauties. Welcome and welcome back to another vlog. It's your girl, Charisma. I know I'm probably looking a little bit different, you know what I'm saying, with the little makeup and all that, you know? Today is currently Sunday, it's January 7th, y'all. This is going to be the last moving vlog, okay? I mean, y'all will have other vlogs where y'all will get updates to the house and new friends show, whatever we buy. But episode six will be the last episode of the little series because we almost got everything together. We thinking smart. So, we got the priority stuff done, which is the beds, the bathroom stuff. I'm finna put y'all down because I want y'all to see the little things that I got, y'all. I went to Goodwill, y'all. Don't sleep on Goodwill. Do not sleep on the thrift store, especially around this time. January through April, y'all, y'all have to hit up the Goodwills in your city. I mean, if y'all live in New York, don't go to that one. They don't have nothing there. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's dusty. I'm always going to tell the truth. You feel me? That's one thing I'm gonna do. So I went to Goodwill to pick up some pictures because I wanted some wall art. I got more than wall art. Let me show y'all what I got from Goodwill. Let, let me let me show. I'm gonna give y'all a little haul. So y'all did get I did get this from Rosie's. This was $10.99, and I just wanted to get something for the side of my bed or something like that because I feel like I didn't have nothing there to like sit my phone on or nothing. So I did get that. This is the Amazon registry. So it did come with a note. It said, thank you for your story times and vlogs. You are amazing. Wishing the best for you and your babies in 2024 from Danielle. I know that's right. I love you too, Danielle boo. I love you too, thank you. If y'all go on the Amazon registry and order something, y'all can leave a note and it will come to me. But this is from my girl, Danielle. Obviously, she's a beauty. Obviously, she support the hustle and the grind. Danielle did get me these airtight food storage containers. Y'all know I got a couple on top of my freezer. But I like a lot of cereal containers because my kids go crazy with the cereal. So, this is something I had on my Amazon registry and she got it for me. And then she did get me this, y'all. It's not really mine. I put this on there for, for my girl's room. This is like some wall decor. You know, something, something simple but cute. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, Danielle, because you really came through. This is how it looks. It's like the unicorn things. It say you are kind, you are strong, you are brave, and you are love. That's little. That's what I want my daughter to know. Every time they wake up, that's how mommy feel about y'all. Y'all are brave. Y'all are loved. Y'all are strong. And y'all are kind. So thank you for that, Danielle. Girl, you did your big one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to give me nothing about the street. But the fact that I'm absolutely going on there, it's like, I really appreciate y'all. Like, I really appreciate y'all. Because y'all know I just keep buying stuff for this house. Money is tight. Really, really tight. But... It's cool. So it's now it's for the Goodwill stuff, y'all. First of all, let me shout out my home girl at Goodwill. Stop the cap. I don't know this girl from nowhere. I don't know this lady from nowhere. She was a black lady. I went in there. I gave her all of this stuff, mind you. This little end table was $7.99 alone. This painting here was $5.99. This here was $4.99. Y'all, why did this lady scare everything, then take it back, then tell me, listen, I'm going to just charge you $20 for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know I went in there for wall decor. I couldn't really find a lot of wall paintings and stuff that was giving. So I did pick up what I could. So this was $5.99, but we're not gonna focus on the price, y'all, because I got it all of this stuff for just 20 bucks. So it says, God bless our home because it's definitely giving that. 
is definitely giving that. I did get this because you know I got all my my balls here. If you see real quick, boom. Don't don't try to pause and be in my business. I'm gonna blur it out because y'all gonna be in my business trying to see what the plans is. I did get this one for the kitchen. Now this one it will be more like meal planning. What we making for this week? What we doing so that way you know food don't go bad. We know exactly what we doing. Who taking out the trash today? Who's cleaning the tub today? Who's sweeping today? Everybody gonna have chores. They gonna have to-do lists. We did this in the old house. It worked very well. My kids is the one who suggested that I bring it back. Now, this, this was my favorite one. This one was $3.99, but again, I got everything for $20. But I love this one, y'all. Like, this one was just like, oh my God. Like, to put this in the kids' room, like, Oh my God, I was really trying to find boy ones, y'all. I really couldn't find them. I found little ones. The future is bright. I found this one for Sincere Room. I think I found one more sign, y'all. And this say, do more of what makes you happy. This was $1.99. And I feel like we all need to wake up and just see motivational quotes, motivational words. We need to feel it. I feel like Everybody deserves happiness. You can wake up every day and choose happiness. Like, you don't have to choose to be depressed. You don't have to not wake up every day, stop choosing violence, and choose happiness. Yeah, that's my mother. Your faith could never. <laughs> so the next thing we got, y'all, we got Monopoly. Y'all know I got my son a little mini Monopoly for Christmas. It wasn't given. Them little pieces, it wasn't given. I had to get a real one because I love Monopoly. I'm already like, eh, what I'm gonna buy with my hundred dollars? Eh, 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 eh. I haven't bought, I haven't um, played Monopoly in so damn long. But the money, money in. Y'all remember the little pieces? I'm gonna be the car. Cause I'm a big pet. I'm a big man. I'm a big man. So yeah, we definitely got Monopoly because it's time for us to play some family games. Y'all know my kitchen table coming tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot of room for games. Me and the kids, yep. Yeah. So the next thing we got, y'all probably going to be surprised by this. Growing up, there was two things I loved to do. I loved to write and I loved to read. I would read anything. I was reading novels at the age of seven and wondering what is all of this nasty stuff that I'm reading. <laughs> Why is he doing this to her? Why are they laying down? There? I was still in my father's books when he would go to work. I was reading all his novels. I love to read. Reading is so fundamental. Reading, oh my God. It, it was my therapy. It was my peace. And I just noticed growing up, you know, New York was late. I just stopped reading. I stopped doing everything that I love to do. I lost me. And in 2024, as I noticed, I'm finding me back. So, I got some books, y'all. Oh, that's good for you, baby. Take care of yourself. Your personal guide to self-care and preventing illness. This tells you about all the diseases, everything from high blood pressure to this, to why you shouldn't eat this. I got a book called See No Evil. I got The Healthy Guide to Unhealthy Living, How to Survive Your Bad Habits. Yes, smoking, drinking, all that. Y'all know I've been struggling. Trying to quit smoking, y'all. I done quit so many times, and then I've been having withdrawals, the hot flashes, the waking up in the middle of the night. The yeah, it, it's real when you're trying to stop doing stuff. So I really want to read this book, The Healthy Guide to Unhealthy Living, because I have a lot of bad habits. I picked up Mega Skills, Confidence, Motivation, Effort, Responsibility, baby. And I really got it because do you see the back of it? Your child wants you to read this book. I was like, they do? So then I read a little bit of it. Children across the country has been telling me that having their parents do mega skills, learning activities with them at home has been a big difference in their lives. Y'all, another thing that I got, okay, don't shun me for it. But yes, I did get, yes. 
Yes, y'all know I've been in tune with God. I've been getting closer with God. Y'all know I've been praying. I've been listening to the word. I've been listening to everything. I've been talking to him. Y'all know that I have read the Bible. I have never have read the whole Bible before though. I have read a couple of pages, not gonna lie, in my life. Never have read the whole one. So I feel like this is something that I wanna do with my children. I literally want to sit down and I want to read this. Like, we could do chapter one today. We could do chapter two this evening. Like, we could do all of that. But I want my kids to know. And I want to know. And I'm also taking this to church with me. Because I want it to get blessed. Oh, I just spoiled a surprise. That's another thing, y'all. We will be attending church soon. I'm not going to tell you what day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to tell y'all what church for safety reasons. But I have been looking around and I've been shopping. <laughs> How you said shopping? I've been shopping for a church. My kids want to go to church so bad. I want to go back to church so bad. I just feel like I need to be there. I need to hear the word. I need to be around positivity. I need to just, I need more than what I what I'm doing now and God is he, he's he's everything so I did get a lot of books I got love is a choice recovery from codependent relationships I got no debt no sweat get your money under control and blast into the future cuz baby this is what we working on in 2024 no debt no sweat baby we ain't sweating cuz that debt paid off Feel me? We paying off our cars this year. Well, if we got a house, we got mortgage, we paying it off this year. Okay? If you trying to save, we saving enough that hundred k this year. We doing all of that. Like, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it, cause you can. They're capping to you. They don't want you to be better than them. Yeah. Tell them charisma said it. I got learning to fall, and I got positive quotes for every day. So today is January seventh. It goes by the dates. Y'all see, like how just January 2nd, y'all see the dates, that's the third. I did get a, a dictionary as well for my kids. So for the last bag, y'all, we not really going to pull out everything. I'm going to just tell y'all so y'all know, yesterday it was 50 cent day. 50 cent day. Now, if the clothes got stains on it, the clothes old, oh, raggedy, I, I wouldn't advise you to get it. We don't have any church attire. You know what I'm saying? They say come as you are, but we don't want to go with holes in our pants, tight jeans. We don't want to do that. So, I just got a couple of pieces, a couple of, you know, little cute shirts for my son, you know, my daughters. Things that's appropriate for church. It don't show too much, you know, things of that nature. So, like, for example, I got him this shirt. Mind you, these pieces was all 50 cents, but I paid $20 for everything. But, for example, I got him this shirt right here. It's just a little button up. He could wear this to church with some black slacks with some black shoes. Like, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't got to spend much money. Y'all going to church. Y'all always go to Goodwill. They have the suits and everything for the men. But that's a nice, a nice shirt right there. I got him a little blue collar shirt. See what I'm talking about? And all of this stuff, I recommend, soon as you get it, cut off the little tags and then throw them right in the washing machine. That's what I do. I got some, you know, some jeans. For Harmony, because she was, you know, she growing. Got a little cute stuff. I got this little dress, because I'm like, oh, this is kind of cute. You know, Blessed could wear this to church. Something, you know, something decent, something decent. You know what I'm saying? This shirt, this is just a black shirt that I got for my son. Little church pants. Told you about the black slacks. This could be for Harmony. See the pockets? I don't know if y'all see it, but this is a little, the little black slacks or whatever. Cause yes, baby, we finna start going to church soon, y'all. Yes, we finna give God our time, y'all. We finna be paying our tithes and offering, y'all. See these two, even though these ain't slacks, this is something that could be worn to church. Some little, you know what I'm saying? So I did get us some, ch some church gear. I'm not finna take everything out, cause y'all get the picture. But yeah, I'm finna go throw this in the laundry. I did get this end table. It was $7.99, but like I said, I didn't pay the full price for nothing. I got everything for 20 bucks. And it's just black. And I got it after I already bought the other end table. But it was so cheap, I said I gotta get it. But y'all see it? Hey, hey. 
So it could be something cute like sitting by the bed or something and you could just boom or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to make a plan for this. Y'all going to see by the end of the video where I put it. The next day. Y'all yeah, got teenagers or little ones. Just let them shop on Timu. So tell them where you got your glasses from. I got these from Timu. I got this shirt from Timu too. And hold on. Like I said, this necklace. I also got these nails from Timu. And Wait, these show them show the them? nails. You got those nails from Timo. Yeah, and then. And then you got those pins, a little scratchy material. Yeah. With the star on it. And them other Yeezys you stole. Yeah. <laughs> Let y'all kids shop on Timo. It's affordable. And y'all, she only had a $25 gift card. And she did her big one. A few minutes later. Yep, 6.36 a.m. Embracing Charisma, congrats. You've been accepted to the YouTube Partner Program. So we this much closer to buying that house. We this much closer to saving what I want to save this year, okay? So it already been eight days of the new year. It been eight days of 2024, y'all. And I just hit a major goal, like, because I put this down. In 2024, I wanted to be monetized on both channels. And now I am. So, like, it already been eight days. And I already hit a goal. So now we finna go to the next goal. You know what I'm saying? You hear that beep, beep, beep? That's that kitchen tape. <laughs> oh, Zor, let me open the door for the people. They know that it's hard to be her. I'm sending you Susan and Ari. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, what you want to eat? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so, you, so, so you ain't know the Krabby Patty formula? Yeah, also, like, I, I've seen, I've watched kids, so I've, I've watched kids before, and I've seen episodes. But when I was younger, I watched Cartoon Network. So yeah, me too. I mean, I watched a lot of. I was still like, I mean, I, I was there in the, during the big boom of like animation. Yeah. Like, animation. So basically, he was watching Dragon Ball Z uh, and, and, and all of that and Pokemon. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so by the time SpongeBob got popular, I was like, this is boring. Thank y'all. Have a blessed day. Yeah, I, 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 I can't just say, I 
God, get your table. God, get your table. So I got two cheers, guys. Two cheers. This for harmony and blessing, right? And then we got the two bar stools for the big kids. And then I'm going to go to the store and get me another bar stool right here. Boom. And then on this side, look. <laughs> okay. We can put stuff there. So now, where y'all think I should put the kitchen table? Huh? Where? Should it be in front of this window? It ain't going over there. But it can't be right here in the middle. Should it be like a little bit over? Let me see. Let me see. I'm just imagining y'all. I'm gonna need to go get me a throw rug today. I'm gonna need to go get me a throw rug today, baby. Because this is given. So, of course, y'all know I got my washers, my dryers, and my kitchen table from Aaron's. Yes, I pay a monthly. Hold on, let me turn this camera around. I got my kitchen table. You bitch can't sit with me. <laughs> y'all hoes can't sit with me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I got my kitchen table and my washer and dryer from errands. I pay something every month, you know what I'm saying, until it's paid off. Usually, I do the 90-day payoff. That's how I got my, uh, my other washer and dryer from my old house and a couple of other things like my recliner couches. Like, two, three years ago, I paid that off in 90 days. I always pay off in 90 days, so I won't be paying mad interest and stuff like that. But, I was just so excited because the kitchen tables on Amazon was like mad money. And I was like, I'm not going to pay mad money, but also my kids need somewhere to eat. We can't just be eating on the floor, eating in our room. So, I'm just super excited here. So, yeah, I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget, y'all. Mom, Huh? You got milk all over your face, so you talking about can't you can't you You happy with the about the kitchen table? Mhm. Mm now you gonna be eating over here. You can't sit on the bar stool though. That one of those shits is yours, okay? Mhm. Mm okay. <laughs> So, yeah, y'all, I need to get me a throw rug. I'm, like, really, really excited. I was supposed to be taking pictures today. I'm not really sure if I'm going to take the pictures because I was supposed to edit two videos. I really only edited one. It was an hour and ten minutes, and it took me all the way until 12 o'clock to do it. Hold on, baby. The kids just came back off a break, and you took, they just went back to school. And you telling me tomorrow they not going to school. Schools to hold e-learning day on Tuesday, January 9th. The National Weather Service has issued a win. Baby, just because it's going to be mad wind mean what? My kids can't go to school tomorrow because it's high winds. And the school buses don't. Now they, now they call them. Now they call them. Listen to this bullshit. Good afternoon. To be sure that you are aware that our district has announced that all schools will be on e-learning tomorrow, that Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, due to the inclement weather that is predicted. This means there will be no school for students tomorrow, but there are expectations they complete e-learning. There's more information on e-learning on our district's website, but your children's teachers will communicate with you and your children. Thanks so much. They literally just got off a of freaking Christmas break and you gonna tell me that it's no school because it's gonna be some high winds so the school buses can't run. My kids don't get on the school bus anyway, baby. I drive them. Why can't I drive them to school still in the winds? Like, okay, whatever. We just gonna deem it unsafe. So what they gonna be doing here all day tomorrow? While well, I'm trying to get my stuff done, my content, my stuff that I need to do, what they gonna be doing here? In my way. They damn sure gonna be getting up this laundry. That's what they need to do. Get, bring them kids home now. They need to separate their laundry and put it away. That's what's on the floor right there. The laundry. Yeah. So, I don't know who these people think they is or who they think they playing with. But baby, you ain't got to go to school, but you got to get the fuck out of here. That's what my grandmama told me. Period. But yeah.
I don't really like these schools out here, yo. I, I think the schools are very good, but I feel like back in the day when we was back when I say back in the day, make me feel so old. I'm only 29. But back in the day when we was going to school, yo, we was writing. We had to get the composition notebooks, black and white. We had to make one a journal, one for math, one for reading. That's how school was. We write the little to do now. We write the little to do. We write the objective, the subject. We write all that. Do y'all know any schools out here? My kids not once pick up a pencil. Huh? They do everything on a computer. The schools out here operate on a computer. Okay? Everything's on a laptop. So the penmanship is horrible. Like I be having to make my kids write at home because they don't write at school. And I don't feel like that's fair. That's not fair. This technology bullshit is crazy and it's really taken away from our kids because how are they supposed to learn to write script? How are they supposed to how are they supposed to learn how to sign a name if you're not teaching them those things? You can't teach that on a computer. You can't teach math on a computer. You have to work out the problem. And that's what get me mad when it's time to help with homework. And I sit down and I give them a scrap paper. Because that's what my teacher gave me. I give them a scrap paper. And I say, okay, work out the problem if you divide and add and whatever. And they say, wait, we ain't got to do that. We just you use the calculator and then press this on a computer. No, 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 no. How the kids learning if they doing all of that? They not working out the problems. They doing math and pen when they all trying. No, baby, I'm gonna need y'all to take these computers away and make our kids write again. Okay, everything is not built around technology. I'm, I hate this this world. I hate this. I hate this for our children that everything is built on technology. I just, it's not right. But anyway, I'll pick y'all back up in a minute. A few minutes later. So I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with the girls' room first, cause you know, to say I don't have many paintings. So I think I'm gonna start with the girls' room first, just put up their little wall decor, see where it go. And yeah, but I switched their room around. See how I switch it that way? And then look at this, y'all. I bought a tent from the bidding site. I think I paid like a dollar for it. I'll put it up on the screen. But it was a tent. So I we got a tent because I knew we had a backyard. So I wanted to do a 24-hour challenge. And we was going to be in a tent overnight. But when we moved here, I found out that we got coyotes in the backyard at night. I said, I don't know what to do with the tent. So I was about to throw it away. But for right now, we're just going to use it for something temporary. And we're gonna put all my baby toys in here. This is her chill spot. This is my baby chill spot. She got all her toys up in here. She got a tablet up in here. How you feel about your tent, boo? I love it. You love it? Mm-hmm. You like your little toys? Mm -hmm. And it's a good part because y'all could clip this up to the top and it will close her inside if she wanted to, you know? So. Sometimes she take little naps in here with her toys. It'd be so cute. I put the little blankets on the floor. But we not going to leave this in here. But until, you know, I get them a TV and stuff like that and finish decorating, I'm going to just leave this right here. But, yeah. So, this is how the, the beds look so far. And then we got that empty section. So, I think the TV will go on this wall. Because a, lot, a thing about this house is not a lot of um, wall sockets. So it's one on this side. That's why I put her bed there. And then it's one on this side. So that's why I put her bed there. And then it's one over there. So I figured the TV probably go on that wall or something like that. But let me get the wall decor. And this is some laundry, y'all, uh, that we need to separate. Juju, why you on my clean laundry? Move. Move. You know I don't play that shit. Anyway, for the wall decor. Damn, I thought we had more. Oh, no, because I forgot my beauty. My beauty got me. Yeah, I forgot my beauty's got me this. My beauty's in y'all. So, this is for their room. And then we also got... This one for their room. But I think this one, I'm going to probably put it in the middle. Let me see. I'm 
I think like this one, I should probably put it like right here. So it could be like that. For right now. And then this one, probably put it on the wall there. Or like, I don't know. But we gonna play around with it. Now for some serum. He barely have any decor for his wall. So, I know for sure I think this is going to go in the kitchen right above that stove. The future is bright. Do more of what makes you happy. I think these two going to go in my sunroom. Because, yeah. So, I'm going to put that on his desk so we can put that up. I don't really know. I think one should probably go right here, you think? Like like up on the wall type drawer. Or should I just make it cute and just boom, put it there. Put it there. Should I do like that? Kinda look petty. Kinda look like yeah, I don't know. I need to find some more wall decor because it's not giving. So far, I put the table right here because I don't know where else to put the table, y'all. We are at the mall and we are going in. It's our replacement for course, of course. Um, so we went to Goldman's and we got the The next day. Hey, my beauties. So it is the next day. I know y'all probably like, girl, why you got on that sweater? Then you have it on yesterday. First of all, I told y'all my room be getting cold. So when I get up on my bed, get up on my blanket, go brush my teeth and all of that, I put on a sweater, okay? So yeah. But it's currently one o'clock. I was been told to go outside and get everything, but we got a flash morning, y'all. It been pouring raining, pouring raining. So right now it's 107. Everybody done ate their little breakfast. I'm making me a little healthy meal. Y'all know I told y'all I need to start eating healthy. So let me show y'all what I'm making. The best rice. The Indian rice. It's the best rice. Between that and the brown rice. Those the ones. See, look, I'm vlogging on my phone right now, and I feel like my phone is like a wider angle camera lens, if you get it right. But my my camera don't be giving me this. It feel like I need a wider camera or whatever. But we're going to go price one today because we definitely going to Best Buy because I got to give me another SD card because my vlogs and my story times being on the same card, keep running out of storage. That's why it's taking me so long to upload because I got to import the video. Then I got to delete the old one. Then I, it's too much. So I'm just going to get me another SD card. Use one for my vlogs and one for my story times. I'm going to get ready. Well, we all going to get ready because I'm taking the kids out to eat today. We've been in the house too long. Just getting stuff together. They've been going to school. So I know I haven't been spending a lot of, you know, quality time with them. So I'm going to take them out to dinner today. Nothing's too big. Probably go to the, like the hibachi or something and let them enjoy themselves. But I'm gonna wait to after five because that's when a flash warning goes off, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, be in danger with the kids. So I will pick y'all back up in the field. Look at blessed the hot set. Close the up. Let me see. Oh, I found you, Bessie. You in the tent? You got all these toys. We gotta take this in the summertime to the beach. This tent. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm joining. You going in there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm playing over. I'm playing over. Somebody close this up. Let me close it. You could do it yourself because the the scraps is up here. So you just put it there. Yeah, we just gotta get you a little flashlight up in there. Huh?
a few minutes later. We utilize your emotions to try to get the best of you. They will use you and they know that you're an emotionally generous person. They will say things and do things on purpose to try to get a reaction out of you. You can even see me. You hear her? To you. That's the people. This is that's the facts. Places, that's the self care routines. That's the situations that you engage in. That's everything about you gotta change to match up to your new friends. Yeah, come on, man. Let's get her on. name is Street Poet 1125. Let me just put this out here to you. On Instagram. Let these people off like strategize the ways to take you down, to discredit you, to make it seem like you are not the person that you are. Understand that when they went outside, they went to try to destroy you. Okay, y'all, today, January 9th, I forgot to read the positive quote of the day. Remember, I told y'all we're going to be doing that. And also, it's January 9th. It's my mama's birthday. My baby turned 45 years old, okay? So, give it up to Mama Rizma. Tell my mama happy birthday in the comments because she be watching all my videos, okay? So, tell mommy happy birthday, okay? And tell her thank you for having me because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. But yeah, January 9th, kindness makes the world a better place. Ooh, you hear that, mommy? Three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third is to be kind. Kind is such a simple word. It's the good... It's the goodness that trickles from our very nature. Life jades us, stresses us, and tempts us to be mean, crabby, and inconsiderate. But kindness is still in there. We can be kind. Kind, it may be the best word of all. 
Today, no matter how tired, cranky, stressed, or irrational I may feel, I will choose to be kind. So that is a positive quote for the day, for January 9th, because that's the date that it is. So, this is the book. I can't tell you where to get it from because I bought this from Goodwill for 50 cents on a Saturday because they have all of their sales on Saturdays and Sundays. So, I would advise that you go to Goodwill and you start building up your book collection, building up your kids book collection because they even got the kid books like... Yo, man, somewhere. She was like, this fucking team I'm in at. So I'm like, oh, I knew I knew you guys from somewhere. And he like, yeah, my bad about that. I didn't even try to run your ass over. I didn't try to run your little cute ass over. So then when he said that, it was like an awkward like, ha, 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 dash away. Like, now I go back to the back game or shit and walk out because um, I don't know what y'all on, but I ain't on that shit. So anyway, I, I knew them was my people. So I turned around. Song Interactive Learning. At their own pace, keep their happy. At K-12. Learn more about mid-year transfers. I'm clean, baby. Simone kept me company while I was washing that ass. As an entrepreneur, as a creator, I'm 20. Okay, y'all, it's 246. I'm fresh out the shower. I'm just gonna put my face care on. See, I was gonna redo my edges and stuff, because look. I was just was gonna redo my edges and but I'm just might do them and just put the band right back on because it's still pouring rain in, so I don't want to mess my edges up. So yeah, I'm gonna put my, my basically my skincare on, which is not too much. Yeah, do y'all see my neck? Now y'all was all asking me about that heart chain. Oh, where you get it from? Y'all know I be busy, so when I be doing my videos and I be putting my jewelry on, sometimes I forget to take it off. And that was one of the necklaces that I was just keeping on, washing up with. And that shit turned my neck brown. Turned the goddamn chain green. I threw it away. Those are the chains you just put on to record and then take it right off. You don't, you know what I'm saying? So, all y'all who's asking, like, oh, I want that. That's cute. Let me get me one. Just make sure y'all take it off and don't leave it on. Because now I got my neck looking crazy. Y'all probably didn't see it in the last story time I did because I put makeup on it. Because I was like, why my neck look so black? <laughs> so, I put some pawns on it. The dark spot correcting cream. Even skin tone in two to four weeks. I always use this. I use it for my face too. Sitting in front of this light be making me want to record a story time. <laughs> but I know I got things to do today. Oh yeah, so episode five. So after y'all seen the vlog of the kids opening their toys and stuff, right? Episode five should be a um probably tonight or tomorrow which today is tuesday so i normally post on the vlog channel sunday and wednesday but i think i said i was gonna make it once a week but i'm not sure about that y'all i'm not sure how i feel about that i think i still want to keep it to two times a week so i could stay busy stay productive but that one should be up probably tonight. Like I said, I was just to leave me alone. It's like, I don't be understanding people. They do everything that they do. And it's like, you cut them off. You like, I'm just not dealing with it no more. I'm good. It's like, you learn boundaries. You find yourself. You know you. You you understand what you don't want to deal with anymore. And it's like, these people be trying to force themselves into your life. Like, oh, well, I don't care if you don't want to deal with me. I'm still going to deal with you. I don't care if you don't want me to do this. I'm still, like, it just be like, leave me alone. Like, I'm on my straight positive stuff. This whole year, like, I'm not, we not doing none of that. None of that. We just going to fix my hair up. Right? Ah! We gonna fix my hair up, y'all. We ain't gonna do too much. Mm. 
I should just leave it like this and put on a hat. That's my. That's probably what I, I am going to do, y'all. I think I'm going to put a beanie on because it's raining outside anyway. And I'm not trying to be fancy with it. But I think I'm going to just, yeah, put a beanie on or something. So, okay. So, let me run down what I got to do before I forget. So, I got to run to Best Buy because I have to get an SD card. I have to. There's no other way. I need one for vlogs, one for story time. So, I have to do that. So, Best Buy, right? That's like a priority of what I have to do. Um, as far as the TV go for my son, I'm not sure if I even want to go there because it is pouring down raining and I don't want the TV to get messed up. And I don't feel like I want to get a, um, I don't think I'm going to get the, like, regular TV or like that. I think I want to get the, the smaller TV just for him to put his game on on his gaming desk because he's going to have two separate TVs. But right now, we're not really in a rush for no TVs. That's not a priority in our house. TVs have never really been a priority in our house. We have other ways to entertain ourselves. And we do other activities other than watch the TV. And honestly, baby, I'm the catch. I watch me on TV. So, I could watch me on my phone. But as for me, I don't, I don't really care about having a TV right now. But I know by the end of this month, before the end of this month come, I do want to have all my kids their TVs. But today, that's not a priority in my life. It's not. The priorities was the beds, the kitchen table, the bathroom, the soap, the tissue. That was the priorities to me. You know what I'm saying? The washer, dryer, we could have clean stuff. But as far as the TV, that's not a priority to me at all. Neither of my kids. Do you see them complaining? Nope. They be up on their laptops and their games. And right now, my son doing a project. I asked him, was it a project for school? He said, no, it's a project for home. Like, he do his own little projects and stuff. So, they doing that. While I run to the store, they're going to be taking their baths and stuff, getting ready. So, by the time I get back, we can go out, take my babies out and enjoy it. But, yeah, that's what I might just do. Yeah, I might not even worry about fixing the edges right now. Because, look, I mean, they not too bad, but... My skin is clearing up. But yeah, they not too bad. Y'all know how I fixed my hair? Cause it was looking crazy in the last vlog. So what I did is, you know how you twist up dreads? So what I did is I took some Belatique and I put it all on there like that. And then I twisted it, twisted it, twisted it. I think I'm twisting it the wrong way. Yeah. So I twisted it. So it was nice and sleek. And then I put the, the clip on. And then I did the edges up. I did that to every each and every last single one of them. Then I put the edge band on. Put the scarf on. Put the bonnet on. Woke up the next day. Took it off. And that joint looked like I just got my hair done. Because I don't know what... That girl did, but it's like she did my hair, and it's like the next day it looked like my hair was in for like three months, but I had put on a scarf and everything. So I was like, let me just do it over myself before I take it out, because I was really just about to chop my hair off. What hat we gonna put on today, y'all? We gonna put on a hat we already wore, or we gonna put on a new one? We gonna put on a Barbie hat, y'all? So we're gonna put on this one. <sighs> or it's we gonna put on this one. Well, we wore this for a picture. We didn't really wear it outside. I think I'm gonna go for this because I got on all black anyway. Damn, it looked like I had the same look in my in my pictures with my twisty, but I had my braided wig on in, in the picture, and it wasn't even glued. I just smacked it on my head, <laughs> and because it's raining, I'm gonna put on my rain boots. Yeah, my socks is long. Look, <laughs> ooh, it's 
took everything for me to lift that big ass leg up. <laughs> so what y'all gonna do when I lose some weight? Hmm. Cause my confidence is like A1 when I'm big. So imagine when I, I lose some weight and I really be stepping on these hoes next. Then what? Then what? And you know what's crazy? When I lose some weight, I'm also gonna lose some of this because these are not this big. It's because I'm big. They're not this big. That's why I wanna get a breast reduction. Oh, I'm leaving my socks up. That's cute. See, I was gonna put my socks down, but now nah, we leaving them up. That look really cute. So y'all, this the fit. Got a little crop top. But you know, I'm not showing my midsection because I'm fat, so. Crop top, leggings. Feel me? Okay, y'all, y'all see me? I wanna show y'all the fit. So. I got on a hat, got on all black, and I got on my boots. So, y'all see the boots, y'all see the socks. I'm not gonna put the socks down, I like it like that. See, I would've just put on my coat, my black coat, but then it's gonna show all my stuff. And I'm gonna get sick, I'm not trying to get sick, I ain't trying to be cute, I'm trying to be warm. And it's gonna show my little midsection, you see that? Yeah, y'all still wear two pieces. I still wear crop tops, even though I'm a big girl. I never cared. Never cared. I love this fat bull. Damn, once it's gone, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be like, damn, I'm fat. Sure, miss my fat boo boo. And we already put our own deodorant too. Put on my body butter. Our deodorant and all that. So I'm gonna put my black coat on. Hold on, is it on the all black side? Yeah. So I'm gonna put my flight coat on. Cause on this side it got words and stuff. On the inside, you could put it anyway. So I'm gonna do it on the all black side. All right, this is what it's given today. We ain't doing too much. So we got on all black. Feel me with the boom boom. Let me show y'all. So we got on boom, boom. I guess this ain't too much. It's something regular, something, you know? You know what I'm saying? Cute little fit. All you need with this look, let me, untie this. I don't know why I tie this shit. I don't live in New York no more. I don't know who, why I do that. Okay. Put a little lip gloss on. That's all you need in the winter. Put some face, put some skincare on your face. If you don't want to do your hair, put it down, throw on a beanie, throw on some lip gloss. You good. You don't need no makeup, nothing. Especially not in the rain. So the bag you're wearing today is my go-to bag. It's my little book bag right here. Feel me? I got this from, um, was it Burlington? Or TJ Maxx? I think it was Burlington I got this from. No, 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 no. It was Ross. I got it from Ross. Yeah. I got it from Ross. I carry my little glizzy with me. Feel me? My wallet. Talk about my wallet. Let me get my ID. So I got everything I need. Got my ID. Got my credit cards. Got my bank cards. Hold on. I don't see the EBT. I don't see the EBT. Uh, EBT right here. Got to eat better today. Feel me? What else? Can't forget about the little money on. Feel me? Got the little money on. This all we taking out, this all we spending today. That's it. We ain't gonna keep spending no money. Like, uh uh. We ain't gonna keep doing that. We ain't got it like that. 
So we're gonna close that. I got this wallet too from um Ross. See, it's cute. Steve Madden. Paid $40 for it though. I remember the first day I bought it. Paid $40 for it to put zero dollars in it. Yeah, so when I take my camera with me, I like to take my extra batteries and stuff like that with me. Anywhere I go. So I go ahead and I close it up. Put it in the bag. Oh, I gotta take my tripod. Which which one y'all think I should take? I normally always take this one, but I also got a new one. Like this one will be good when I um go food shopping because it bend and do all that extra stuff. It could stay on the cart. It could wrap around. But do it go up like this one? No, this one don't go up. This one don't go up like this one. Cause this one, it can go up a little bit and it go out. Like that. And this one just bendy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this one though cause I'm not gonna really set it down. And if I do, it's gonna be on this setting. The short setting, like that. But I think I'm gonna just take this one on my camera. Yeah, and I'm gonna leave this one here. And honestly, I don't have no um, no tripod for the car because like the way my dashboard thing is set up, I don't know. I have to look it up. I have to research it on YouTube and get me one because we be having we be needed to record in the car. So I'm not gonna record in the car because I don't have no way to sit y'all. But. We out, we finna go run our little errand so we can get back in time so we can make it to the Hibachi. So, I will see y'all at Best Buy. So I'm showing her his pictures, which you can barely see on Instagram. It's Eric Patty Leon there anyway. So she like, oh, okay, um, which one is he? Because <laughs> he had pictures with a bunch of people. So he like, um, no, 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 like, I, I, I'm 30, like, I turned 30 on my birthday. Oh, they so closed. Damn. So I'm like, oh, wait, so you 30 or you? This is my decision. The cameras out. Which one is it? Where is Sony at? Sony ZV1. They must be sold out. Invisible selfie stick.
I think this the one I got. Hmm. And these saying this don't work for my camera. Because I recorded my car buying a process and it's all black. So I'm going to have to go for one of these. So this is what I got on my camera now. But they didn't have that, so I had to get this. Which is the speeds are higher 180 over 130. And I got one sixty over one twenty. this printer okay so we just left Best Buy I took my coat off it was getting a little hot but so what I was telling y'all in the store that I got the 256 gigabytes because I had to go look at my camera I mean I had to go look at my pictures and my phone because I'm like damn they only got like three three of them I don't know which one is compatible so I looked at my phone I said hey 256 gigabytes and it said with sd adapter the one i had in my hand it didn't have the sd adapter and that's what i need so this was the closest one i could find it's the same thing pro plus but the read speeds is higher it's 180 over 130 the one i got now was 160 over 120 256 but this one is 128 I don't know where the damn receipt, but for this SD card, y'all, it was $17. No, it was $17.99, so $18. And I did not come to Best Buy for this. But y'all know I do want to open back up my skincare business this year. So I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it, y'all. I had to do it. I had to. It was just $40. It was on sale. I usually pay $80, $90 for this. And this is the all-in-one inkjet. It come with everything. It's the all-in-one printer. It come with the um the print, scan, and copy. And I already got ink for this one. So I wanted to stick with the same one. I already got the paper for it. The only difference is the ones I got before, I got it in color. Like I got one pink, one blue. This one is just gray and white, which is cool. We ain't gotta be too fancy. So at least I got this out the way, so. We got that. That's something I could check off the business list. Now I'm gonna need to get me a computer, a little laptop, something. Because, you know, I gave that to Promise and then Harmony broke it. Hence, that's why they got new ones for Christmas. Yeah. So I don't have a computer anymore. And my Apple computer, I gave it to my dad. And he don't even use it. But that don't mean I'm gonna take it back. Because I've I'm, I'm never been that girl. So. We finna head. I went to that damn pawn shop. That pawn shop was closed. Oh. Uh, so, I guess no TV for today. And y'all seen the one I was looking at in there, right? It was 43 inches. They took my thousand something dollars. Baby, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that for one of them to break it in two months. Mm-mm. I refuse. In the last six years since we've been living here, we done had over 12 TVs. Yes, 12. 12. Like, that's why I'm not in a rush to buy one. Because they don't watch it. But, yeah. So, I'm finna head back to the house. I'm finna go pick up the kids. They should be done doing their showers. They, and everything they need to do and getting ready. Because everything was cleaned and everything. So, finna head. 
drop this off, get the kids. I knew I was supposed to be doing something else. I was supposed to be cleaning my car. I was supposed to be vacuuming out this car. But y'all, this rain, this weather, it's not going to give. So I'm, that's going to have to probably wait until tomorrow. Because I'm not in the business of vacuuming the car and cleaning it while it's raining. But I do need to get my car cleaned out because starting back next week, your girl will be going back out to Uber because I'm almost caught up with my videos and my editing, okay? So once I get caught up, I'll be going right back out to Uber so I can start getting more stuff for the house that we need. And we won't have to put every single thing on the YouTube money. Because, yeah, that's I'm trying to save the YouTube money for the house, to buy a house. So, yeah, y'all. I'll pick y'all back up when we in the car. But, yeah, love you. When things don't work out with your daughter, I need my time on my life. Think of where you feel like that. Oh yeah, let me put my beauties on So y'all know tax time coming up Everybody be buying cars This is where I bought my car from Okay, you need one pay stub It's every two weeks The payments is due every two weeks And they don't do no credit check At all No credit check at all they get new cars every week. I'm putting y'all on, babies. Because y'all not going to let them get y'all this year. So come down to Car Mart. And this their little cars they got. That's the cars they got to get fixed. But this the information. Car Mart Auto Group. Make sure y'all ask for Jared. And yeah. That's the car I was going to get, the Red Dodge Journey. Well, my aunt, Misery, wanted me to get that. That's why I didn't get it, because she wanted me to get it. But I picked my baby. I picked my baby. I knew what I wanted. I'm going to give y'all a car tour when I do clean my car. But not now. Not now. I got a Marron now. But yeah. So I just put y'all on. Don't go to nowhere else and let them tax y'all. I'm trying to help y'all out for tax time. For the girlies that's getting a new car. Come on down here. You know what I'm saying? They do no credit check at all. None. But we ready to go. <laughs> you see you. Where we going? The hibachi. You ready? What about you, Bussin? You on your little booster seat? You ready? Mm -hmm. What about you? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> Y'all ready to get out the house, finally. Patrice, wait, like, what you gonna do there, huh? And you in your No, I I I I what 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 is that? Three pounds, one water. Three pounds, one water. That's it. Okay. And what kind of gift for baby? That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, package it, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm 
Your midsection is showing. This is a point. You know they're gonna be on the vlog. Like she's only this age. Why is she wearing that? Her mother accepts that. Just like they said, why are you giving Sincere a toy for? Why are you giving the black man a toy gun for Christmas? So you ain't see that good old PS5. You only seen a toy gun. <laughs> we paid too much money for them folks to be thin. Yes. The other buffet uh, normal size forks. But this buffet food is way better. Hi. See, look, this is what I'm saying. I said put body butter on. Look at your arms. <laughs> Horrible. Elbows, ashy, all y'all. <laughs> so much on losing weight. Got the big fried chicken in this joint. Mom, what would you choose if you had one food to eat for the rest of your life? Okay. Just like ramen noodles? Yeah. Nah. One thing sincere. One thing for the rest of your life. Oh, one thing? Oh, my. Okay. Listen, what would you pick? What about you, Blessing? I said chicken. Okay. You okay. Chicken? You will choose chicken for the rest of your life? Five chicken, right? I don't think they would pick chicken because when we went to the buffet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, you remember when TJ walked in with Auntie and the only thing he got was chicken? No. I was like, bro. Yeah, I was like, waste the money. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can get chicken. And then she didn't pay, but she was over here stealing food. So Wait. This came embarrassing. She didn't pay? Y'all, this is crazy. Only for him. And then remember when she came and she was like, he was probably considered an adult or something. No, so we paid for him, not herself. She came in and said she was just sitting with us, remember? Then she started oh, yeah. saying, oh, you need to that, oh, you need that, so we food. And later that come by, like, you don't eat, you don't pay. And she's like, I didn't eat nothing. But her mom was full. It's just crazy, y'all. Imagine stealing and a bocce. Oh, my um, I think I'll get some more food. Definitely some sushi. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Children under 10 should be accompanied by adult, and I was like 10. 
Yeah, I got 10 and under, and I'm like, oh, I'm 10. <laughs> but now I'm 12, so I can go on I can hold myself. If you're from New York, you know if you go to any hibachi, that that's a rat on a stick. That's not. You're lying. That's a rat on a stick. Now I don't know about it in the South, but in New York, these rats on a stick, and they be shaped like rat. I was I was eating them though. Rats good. The rat is nasty. Mm -hmm. She said, "Rats is crazy." What she got? No, the rat mm -hmm. is nasty. I get the same thing every time. Yep, yeah, so she on my type of time. I said, "Snow crab legs is expensive." Y'all better child. your fortune say? It say, remember the person who ghosted you? They're about to make a grand reappearance. Somebody ghosted you? One of the girls you like? No. I don't oh. Know. What's your... I don't know. <laughs> Mine says, take the time to do it right. Otherwise, you have to take the time to do it over. That mean do that homework right, girl, before you gotta do it over? <laughs> what y'all say? A song from your past will unlock a secret for your future. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay, bless her. You gotta open yours. It says today is the day you write. You start to write your masterpiece. I like writing, but I'm not writing a masterpiece. Now, what's blessing say? It's time to dance to your own rhythm. It's time to do what? Dance to your own rhythm. Oh, no, yeah, because all you do is dance and that's you need not, some rhythm. That's not what it says. It said make sure to like and subscribe. Whatever. Now, mine. Mine said in the world, hold on, hold on. In the world of noise, your original tune will prove glorious. Okay. <laughs> that's how you, that's how you show the that's how you do it. In a world of noise. You feel me? A world of noise. I mean, you are. No faces in the camera. In a world of noise, your tune. That. She lame. She's just like your dad. <laughs> Jokes on you. Let me do the camera. Hold on. Let me talk. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Ten bucks. <laughs> no, this smells good. <laughs> that is a good tip. We pay eighty five for the food and then to give her ten. Eighty five, not going to her. Okay, whatever. Do you hear what they say? These broke real, real. kids. These broke kids talking about ten thirty dollars. They don't got nothing to their name. What y'all got to y'all name? I got $1. Um, I got two cents. Yo, this the last one I'm taking y'all out, y'all ugly. No, I'm just saying Y'all ugly. No. Nah, this the last one I'm taking y'all out. Y'all not going to go away. No, she called you on free food. Bro, this $14. You're leaving the whole $14. You're crazy. She gave me $1. I got $1. Bro, I got two cents on it. Bro. I got two cents on it. And she can get the change because obviously 
Bro, they grimy. No, oh, that's all you want to do. Bro, what does $10 tip look Yo, you too broke to be having an opinion at this point. Bro, get my camera. I got broken kids. This is why y'all need y'all dads, because there ain't no way. What? Yeah. What's that pink tree outside called? Uh, on okay. <laughs> Have a good one. Did huh. that lady catch my so hard? She's going by a table. <laughs> y'all get in front of the tree. Get in front of the tree. Oh, y'all. Oh, everybody. Oh, y'all get in front of the tree. That's said we could barely see you. <laughs> she said this called the Japanese tree. Yeah. Japanese tree. Girl, I'm not really taking a picture. Look at you. You your daddy's son. Huh? <laughs> this is on video. <laughs> it's cold. Let's go. <laughs> Dollar Tree. Ow. At least they could light up they Dollar Tree side. Let's join it all dark. I thought they was closed. These are cute. We should get this for, um, Look, she always trying to spend my money. We should get this for what? We should get it for the table. That's not a Yeah. So, so you, so you trying to spend my money? <laughs> Look, she said we should get this for the for the table thing. She trying to spend my money. <laughs> All right, let's go where we need to go to get our my stuff first. But they are cute though. Dollar Tree be having the best decor. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, why do people get glasses and then start reading like that? <laughs> I'm done. Wait, it's giving we in the wrong aisle. <laughs> Come on, she said, ain't that deep? It's hard. Sincere, stop telling me what you need. I came in here for me, boo. I'm always getting our stuff. Can I get some stuff too? Can I worry? Can I, can I focus on me? Yes. Can I worry about me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Can I think about me? Yes. Huh? Yo, calm down. You, you, you worry about you first. Child, please. Child, who let her cook? Who let What color should I do my vision? Oh, should I do a black? Yeah, I said black. So I can put all colors or pink. Oh, no. Color is a dollar and white is 50 cents. What's that doing? Three of each letter. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Is this cute? Where each letter? These are super cute. Come with me to the sea. Live, laugh, love. Family together, we have it all.
Came a teacher for the money and the fame. Teachers don't get paid a lot of her. Beach Okay. Now we got colored numbers. This one. Mm. Look at this. Y'all better come get y'all little Valentine's Day decor. This is cute. Wait, that a head or no? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Damn, they already got Easter stuff out. When is Easter? They ready. These are cute. I don't know what to put on my kitchen table. See, I kind of like this one. But then again, I like this one. Good coffee is a pleasure. Good friends are treasures. The next day. Good morning, beauties. So it's the next day. It's January 10th. I'm whispering because the blessing is sleeping, okay? She's sleeping. We just got back from dropping the kids off at school. Because if y'all don't know, I drive my kids to school and pick them up. I don't let them get on the bus. Because, like, where we live is, like, kind of, like, dead end. So, like, the bus can't come back here. So, they'll have to stand by, like, the side of the road. I'm not comfortable with that. So, I take them myself. But blessing climb back in the bed. She's like, Mommy, I'm cold. I'm cold. So, that's good. Because last night we finished editing the vlog. We finished ep editing episode five. But um, now we going over it. So when I edit, I like to do like four cuts. I'll do it the first two times. Third time I go back over the video, see what else it need. And then the fourth time I add the music, final cut, and then upload. So I'm on a third one right now. And I'm just watching it. And adding in or taking out whatever it is it needs to be added out. But I just want to say good morning, y'all. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope January is blessing y'all. We only been we only been in the new year for 10 days. So what we gonna do? We're gonna start our morning off right. We're gonna read the positive quote for the day, okay? 
So it's January 10th. See that? January 10th. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellent sin is not an act, but a habit. Some specialists believe that it takes only 30 days to make a habit. Are you eager to start a healthy habit? Try walking a mile every day for one month. After one month, it'll be a habit. You'll do it without even thinking. Add five blocks to that mile the second month and do that for 30 days. Add five more blocks the next month and before you know it, you'll be walking two miles every day. You'll be amazed at how great and energized you feel. Today, I will pay special attention to my habits and I will make sure they are ones I am proud of. Now, that's a word. That's a word. That's a word. What habits do you have? You ever thought about that? What habits do you have? I have a smoking habit. Y'all know I quit smoking and I was going through withdrawals and everything. So I started again and then I quit again. Yes, I have bad habits. So what habits do you have that you're embarrassed to say? I want y'all to comment down below what habits do y'all have that y'all feel like y'all want to fix in 2024. And this is a judge-free zone, okay? The comment section, we judge-free zone. We, we're not judging y'all. But what bad habits do you think you have? Whether it's drinking, whether it's money management, whether it's smoking, whether it's parenting, it is what it is. But one thing we not gonna do in 2024 is sugarcoat anything, okay? So I'm gonna try to all comment down below. What habits do y'all have? And what habits are y'all trying to make better? You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, do you want to start walking? Do you want to start exercising? Do you want to start reading? What you want to do? What you want to do? And what habits you want to cut out? Because I know one one of mine for sure is the smoking. It has to go. It has to go. I'm weaning off of it. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I have to replace a habit with my smoking habit. So... That's why I want to start going to the gym because I work out in my room, but that's boring. But if I go to the gym, that's a habit. I'm picking up a habit. So I'll be too busy in the gym. I won't have to smoke. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to finish this at its owner's video. I want to be done at least by 9.30. It's 7.50. So hopefully we could do that because really all we got to do was rewatch it, add some music on it, upload it. So I will pick y'all back up when we doing something. And yeah, I hope y'all have a blessed January 10th. God bless y'all. And y'all just got back from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I tell you, Dollar Tree is the GOAT. Like, I don't know who who created Dollar Tree. I think I need to um get a share or like I don't know because like Dollar it, it's just no way Dollar Tree is the goat like this. Like it's no way. Ever since they became 125, they've been the goat. Feel me? They've been adding a little three dollar shit. They five dollars. Let me show you a little bit of stuff I got. This is just for the kitchen. I only got some stuff for the kitchen because. We need to make this a home. Okay. So I got this LED fountain with stone. I got this. Um, wait, what is it called again? Over the door hook. Okay, I say over the hook. Over the door hook because we need someone to put our towels on. So I got this. So I got these cable mats. Cause yeah, they call police mats. Yeah, placement. But I don't know. Blue just been sticking to me, y'all. So of course I got blue. I got blue. Well, it's multiple different colors, but you know. I did get this because I feel like this go with this. I don't know. I just felt like it do. For the wall, I got this. Uh-huh. I did get this towel so this blue towel. And then I got this. Collect memories, not things. Then I got this. See 
good in all things. I don't know why they put the S and then the I in right there because it looked like it said sin at first. And then y'all, I got this. Seize the day. Okay. And last but not least, I got this right here. It's giving New York. It's giving New York. It's giving New York. Feel me? So I got that. Oh, yeah. I did get that from Dollar Tree, too. But I never showed y'all that. I just put it up. Hold on. Let me show y'all. This is something I got from Dollar Tree, too. A little while back. Just five bucks. And it's a, a leaning sign. Normally they buy these and put this outside their house, but I put it inside. So you see, I'm going for blue. I'm going for blue. So yeah, I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna show you the finishing touches of the kitchen. And then we go ahead and end this vlog because there's no need to keep dragging it. Did y'all like it? Did y'all like it? I don't know. It was giving blue, y'all. It was giving blue. I fell in love when I went to the store. It was giving blue. Oh my god. But yeah, anything new that I get, I just do an update. Or add it into a regular vlog. But we did a lot, y'all. We really did a lot from November 30th to now. We completed a lot. And we spent a lot of money. So yeah. I have to reset. I have to reset my pockets. Okay? So we're not buying anything else right now. <laughs> not right now, not right now. But yeah, um, I just want to thank y'all for supporting my channel and getting me monetized on this channel. And yeah, I just love y'all very much. And I'm loving that y'all supporting my journey. And yeah, I'm just happy, y'all. Because, like, the blue was just like everything. Like, the blue was given what it was supposed to give. Like, I'm just so in love with my table. Obviously, I wasn't thinking about myself when I got the table. Because it only got four chairs. It's for the kids. But, this spot right here. I'm going to put me a chair there for me. You know, so we can eat dinner together. But... This is all for the vlog. Until next time.
I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yard. Yeah, and my mind is a warning. Enjoy your gift from Bria. Thank you, Bria. <laughs> So Bria sent the safety plug outlets, which go into the electrical socket cover. It's basically the electrical socket cover. And then she sent 12 piece cups for kids. So we got some cups. Thank you. This is on my Amazon registry, y'all. Head over to the registry if you want to get us anything. Thank you. Side. So I think they're both. I don't know what they are. Yeah. Oh, I got me some balls. Y'all showing up and showing out. It matched with the blue cup. My beauties. That's my beauties. Who sent this? A gift from Bria. Bria sent more? Bria sent more stuff. Oh, thank you. Love your videos. Congrats on the new home, Bria. And that's another thing. I'm saving y'all y'all notes too. Are you getting down just on your to the camera? Thank you so much, Bria, baby. Hold on, I gotta get her note. I gotta save that. And she sent some LED lights. Yes. These are gonna look good for your room. So LED lights. These going in y'all room, the girls' room. Okay. LED lights. Toaster. The bowls. And the other gifts from earlier was from Bria too, which was the plugs and the, um, what was the other one? And the cups that's this color. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Bria. Y'all going crazy on the Amazon registry. I love you. I love that for y'all. <laughs> That ain't hurt. Ain't no way. Okay, finally done. Pool shopping is so tiring. See, I see we got the flavors. It's the way you put it down I don't know what else around 
Got me thinking I'll step on the wild side, cutting out ties. You one of a kind, the way you, the way you look in my eyes. Loving me nice and slow. You made me want to come through, quarter after two, just to put it down on you. You made me want to replay all of the things that you and me, we do. You make me want to come through, quarter after two, just to put it down on you. You made me want to replay all of the things that you and me, we do. That's just what you made me want to do. I drop all these women for you. Got my feelings running on the loose. This ain't what I'm really used to. Before anything happened between us, you were like my best friend. The one I used to run and talk to. Me and my girl was having problems. You used to say it'll be okay. Suggest little nice things. Come with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. Think about a ring and all the things that come along with you make me, you make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you, this is what you do. Think about a ring and all the things that come along with you make me, you make me, yeah, come through. Quarter after two. Come through. Quarter after two. Yeah. She said she ready for love. She down with that boy. She said ain't no pulling up. Meet her at the pulpit. She ain't trying to play no games. She think all is the same. And if you not on that forever shit, you can stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why. She ain't got the patience, she be like, bye, bye, bye. And I know she don't think twice. If it's something she don't like, she gon' let you know about it. She give her all and that's the problem. A nigga like me gotta come and solve. She said, if I want that pussy, I'm gon' have to beg that. Ain't no freebies, yeah, she freaky, but you gotta pass test. She got money, ain't funny, you can see it in her eyes. She said it's mine if I want it, I can own it. She hit it good with the shot clock. Shot clock. I'm 